This is Eric and Gord. What if we're right? Listen to the world changing. There goes my news. Hi there. <laughs> Happy Saturday. June the 6th, 2020, and I'm Eric talking at you from Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, where life is like animal porn. It's not for everybody. <laughs> you know, that's pretty much perfect. <laughs> That is just perfect. A little bit. How's it going, Gord? <laughs> doing all right, my friend. How are you doing? I've had a fucked up day. Yeah. But I really can't say I'm bad. Just weird. Weird. A lot of weird news today. I got hit on. That was nice. Oh, that's kind of cool. By like a stranger. It wasn't like a friend being flirty. It was like someone I didn't know who like, was flirting and trying to trying to see little hunty. It was pleasant. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often anymore. <laughs> I can't do anything about it because I'm not allowed to. Uh, it's it's someone with whom I'm not supposed to fraternize, so I have to be very um, careful. But it was cool, nonetheless. Uh, nice day, good weather, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah i'm not i'm not digging my job right now no um and i'm not digging the podcast set up at the moment because i'm just sick of there being problems but other than that everything's good world how are you guys that's what's important send me and gord some emails and tell us what's going on gwyneth paltrow's vagina at gmail.com um gonna be some updates to the uh, Gord Shop website this weekend. So everyone go check it out again over the weekend. It's going to be a whole bunch of new updates. I got new information from the company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> and uh, I will be updating their site immediately. I'm going to be uh, attempting a new blog too. So you guys can check that out maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. But it will be coming out on... I don't know what the domain name is going to be. I think it's going to be Eric at Eric and Gord Show. Or no, just be Eric and Gord Show dot com. Um, something like that. I don't know. I tried to get... Oh, Gord, I got to tell you some news. And world. Hey, world. I tried to get a dot Eric made. Because I thought that would be awesome. What's a dot Eric? What is that? Like, mean? instead of dot com, it would be like Eric and Gord dot oh. Eric. No. Really? I tried. Uh, it's like 180 grand. Oh, <laughs> uh, like so listeners, if anybody wants to donate, this is a great time to do it. We could really use this for the show. And then it's still contingent upon approval. So you might not get approved. Well, it's not like you're saying dot fuck. I think that'd be okay. Oh, no, that that's worth like $2,000. <laughs> um, How the that, fuck is dot Eric worth fucking 200 grand and fuck isn't? Oh no! Like that would be two, but like to to buy dot fuck is like two thousand. Um, like to use it. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's one of those ones. Like dot triple X is retarded. Um, dot sucks is two thousand dollars because I wanted Eric dot sucks. <laughs> um, that was two thousand dollars. Like, what the fuck? Wow. Um, dot, dot knives doesn't exist. I tried to get that for you. But if it doesn't exist, doesn't that mean that you can? Just create it, and it doesn't cost you anything. No, it costs one hundred eighty thousand dollars to create a dot whatever. I forget what wow. it's called. Uh, RP R something something. I don't know, but yeah, that's like the minimum. That's insane. So that's not happening anytime soon. No. But if I if we no, could, I, I can think of a lot of things one hundred eighty thousand dollars could go towards. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> I'm not spending any money on a dot something. I thought you could just like <laughs> there's some. I knew there was an application process, but I didn't know. It costs like crazy money. Um, <laughs> having dot Eric would be awesome or dot hunt. And uh, just a quick <laughs> note to if you happen to be listening, the guy who bought up Eric dot everything, fuck you. <laughs> Cause I wanted just like Eric dot com or whatever. No, some guy bought Eric dot everything. Oh, 
and there's a lot of dots you can buy for very very cheap like but he's got all of them i've got 11 eric and gourds <laughs> uh this is a boring conversation but i just i thought i thought eric isn't coming out anytime soon but i think it's going to be eric and show.com will be my new blog and first one could be up tonight possibly I uh, so world i don't have much in the way of news but gord's gonna help you out and i'm going to play along <laughs> pretend that i know what he's talking about uh is this the right one let me let me just see if i got that website right nope nope that's not the one at all hmm <laughs> well there goes that i'll keep you guys posted as to uh, what that website is going to be because i don't <laughs> apparently know um so the world's still burning itself down. Um, yep, that's that kind of cool. Is. I'm I'm glad to see people are sticking with it. And cops still can't seem to get anything fucking right because um, you still got two new Buffalo cops that are have officially been um, suspended without pay and are going to be up on charges. While well, they're being investigated for charges because they were the cops were. Um, clearing a uh, um a curfew uh curfew set time for um for a protest and the 71 year old 71 I think he's 75 year old protester goes up and he's just and he's just he's yelling at the cops he's just like you know you guys still don't have any right to beat up black people and this fucking two white cops well one white cop goes up and shoves him super hard the guy flies back lands on his head splits his head open starts bleeding all over the place and they just sort of, and those same, the two cops that sort of did just sort of keep walking away. And another cop comes in to stand over them and not really try to help at first. Um, so they're now suspended without pay and they're going to be, um, they're officially being, they've, well, they've pleaded not guilty. You know, they well, face of course. A, and they, they may, they may not be. There's so much bullshit coming out right now. Mm. They may not be guilty of anything. You never know. It's on video. That's the upside, but uh, yeah, it's just yeah. But even it's that, a brutal shove. I mean, it's a it's a hard fucking push, man. It's it's a hard push. You gotta keep in mind. I could send you a video tonight of me shoving me that hard. <laughs> that is very true. Um, so it's on video. Doesn't really have the. Uh, Remember when that used to mean something? The weight that it uh, used to like this isn't. Yeah. It's good that you know if it's if 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 it turns out to be a legit video, great. That's what we need. But yeah, I I'm so skeptical of everything revolving this case. Yep. And anything involving police right now, because both sides are just pumping out tons of bullshit all the time. Oh yeah. One of my favorites is, is there's a damaged cop car in the street from protesters and he shows uh, a couple of cops go up and they're breaking out the windshield and it was put online saying Boston police caught, smash, caught smashing their own car. They're doing this and they're driving the blame, blame the protesters. And the cop's like, yeah, no, the car was already damaged. We were just smashing out the windshield so we could get the fucking thing out of the, out of the street. We're going to drive it around the corner to get it out of the street. <laughs> Relax, yeah. guys. It was already damaged. Here's video from an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a ton of that. Yeah. And there's, there's another one be... of a cop loading up a car full of Nike shoes. And they're saying, cops are looting. Uh, no, a store got robbed. They caught the guy who robbed him. And, the, and his items were still in the house. The, the vehicle is actually the store owner's car. And the cops are loading up the stuff back in his car. <laughs> Yeah, you'll see a bunch from the other side too, and you're you're gonna see a lot of cops. Like this isn't gonna make cops any nicer. Mm -mm. If anything, they're just gonna get a whole lot worse. So, which is so dumb, but you know, uh, don't, but on their side, I get it. In that sense, don't expect this to help anything. Like when that when that big cop was bullying everybody in Vancouver, and then he yeah. got fucking dummied with brass knuckles. When he yeah. came back to work, he wasn't like, it, it wasn't an Ebenezer Scrooge moment. Like, oh, buy a goose. He was not <laughs> pleased. And he was very, very mean and angry to everyone. 
Um, so don't expect the cops to be like, oh, we now see the error of our ways. We're going to be good now. No. The no. bad ones are going to get worse, and the nice guys are going to get blamed for it. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, well, <laughs> the, some of the good ones are going to go bad now, and some of the bad ones are going to get worse, and they're all going to suck. The trick will be find that one cop that stands up and is like, I used to be like this. I'm not anymore. Find that one cop. There'll be, there will be no, one. No. One He'll will come up like Serpico. They'll just fucking pursue him until he <laughs> kills himself. <laughs> He'll say it, and the next day he'll be dead from a quote-unquote suicide. Oh, yeah, it'll be like Jerry Maguire. Yeah. <laughs> he'll just get fired. Yeah. <laughs> or just be reduced to a fucking traffic cop in Poughkeepsie or something. <laughs> I just wanted uh, to say Poughkeepsie. I don't know. You just want to say that's all that matters. <laughs> I used to say that. I used to have the same thing about uh, Walla Walla, Washington. So that was one of my favorites. Walla Walla. I feel like going to Walla Walla. <laughs> um. I don't know if you heard about this, but nope. uh, two uh, Canadian, uh, both in Toronto, uh, criminal court cases um, are under scrutiny because they're looking to have their uh, um, convictions overturned under the defense that uh, they were, they were um, because they were high on drugs, they didn't know what they were doing now, so therefore they should be let go. Well, let's see. I I don't agree with it, but it is a defense. Um, very hard to prove. Yeah, it's called Section three three point one. It's called the self induced self induced intoxication. Um, it literally just says it's not. It is not a defense to an off. It is not a defense to an offense referred to a subsection three that the accused by reason of self-induced intoxication lack the general intent or the voluntariness required to commit the offense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> see, and that's the, that's the thing. And that goes right back to, there's the two things that are impossible to prove, but uh, they are defenses. And they, if they, one, if you can prove that what you, you didn't know, you genuinely didn't know what you were doing was wrong. Mm -hmm. which is mens rea, I believe is the Latin term for that one. I believe you're right. Um, if, you, if you genuinely have no idea, and that's basically unheard of. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one is actus reus, which is where you literally don't know what you're doing. Like, you're um, so and far that, out of control that... That's where this one would fall. Well, not out of control, just um, like you're, you have no idea what you're doing. Like you're whatever you're uh you're i guess it gone. works if you're like with rage and shit oh i i blacked out well the two guys um, under this well, one uh thomas chan and david sullivan uh thomas chan had killed his the fuck was it uh, wife i think it was um it killed his father uh, and almost killed his wife and the other guy had uh injured some relatives both were high on drugs one was on mushrooms and the other had tried to kill himself with an overdose of a prescription non uh, stop smoking medication i don't think you can get high enough on mushrooms to not know what you're doing no trust me i've tried <laughs> it's just you, you just can't um There's... 10 and a half grams 14 and a half 14, yeah, 14. 14 for me <laughs> at once. Oh God. I tried awful. to break a toilet with my head, but <laughs> I knew what I was doing. I just had a conversation with myself in a bath in a public washroom for like two hours. And as I had a great conversation, I really liked my conversation. I'm really nice to myself. <laughs> yeah, I probably wouldn't have been. Um, <laughs> you would have gotten into an argument with yourself over it. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> I stood at a intersection trying to open my front door because I thought I was home. That was a good oh, hour. Wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I just, that's the thing though with mushrooms. It's all.